my our next uh, my next speaker is going to be, I believe, uh, Eugenio Amadeo, one of the uh, yes, yeah, I'm right. Ah, uh, great! One of the uh, group of Italians that uh, I got to know and love a little bit uh, in the nineties. Uh, take it away, Eugenio. Yeah, I think I met you in Catania probably once. Yes, perhaps I will take uh, one moment to mention that uh, you guys were the only people ever to uh, give actual support to the Settle project that I was working on and which eventually became GNU Settle. There was a couple of uh, summer you know, stays in Catania and uh, yes, very much appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> so I try to share the screen now. Let's see if I can. Yes, it seems so. Uh... Okay, here am I. Thank you, um, Annie, for organizing this event, which uh, I'm, I'm, fond, I'm very glad to participate in. Also because I'm meeting again people whom I had not seen for decades. So I'll talk about Etna Nova, which, is, uh, which was born from more or less from the same egg from which Settle was born. Um, and proof, it's, it's a proof verifier which according to the definition given by Jack Schwartz, uh, more than a definition, this is a characterization. It's an interactive program for manipulation of the state of mathematical discourse. It allows computer checking of such, such discourse in full detail and collection of the resulting theorems for sub subsequent reuse. Um, it is, um, it, it must be sound and complete, of course, otherwise it won't, uh, it won't be acceptable. And besides the practical interest, proof verifiers have one potential practical use, program verification. This is a, a, an excerpt from a book, from a posthumous book by Jack Schwartz on computational logic and set theory. Um, actually, the book speaks also about formalizing um, analysis uh, in um, by means with the support, with the um, assistance of proof verifier. But um, um, analysis was seen more as a challenging ar arena than the real issue. The real objective was to, uh, to have a, a, a strong challenge to test the proof verifiers, verifier, which would then serve the needs of, proof verifi of program verification. Here is Jack, who said that putting mathematical discourse into a form, every one of whose details can be checked by a computer, forces us to walk in shackles. But then we want these shackles to be as, as light as possible. And in fact, this has been a, a long effort in uh, the design of the proof checker, because, uh, because uh, essentially, uh, in order to be acceptable for a mathematician or for a computer scientist, for a former computer scientist, uh, it could not have been, uh, been it could not, have, uh, could not have overwhelmed uh, its uh, users with the details. This is when the story begins. In 1978, Jacob Schwartz visited the NASA Langley Research Center and uh, wrote the, um, the technical report that you see on the left, instantiation and decision procedures for certain classes of quantified set theoretic formulae. Uh, the next year, he would implement a, a, an easy fragment of set theory in Seto. And, um, and then he asked uh, Alfredo Ferrer and myself to extend this, uh, this um, piece of, uh, of uh, <clears throat> this. Uh, decision algorithm. And this led to this paper, which has been a multi-level syllogistic, which has been a seminal paper in the sense that uh, out of it, uh, maybe 50 or more papers have developed. Many, many decidable fragments of set theory have been, um, have been designed and uh, only a few have been implemented. And uh, some have been implemented without having been documented in the literature. 
So multi-level logistics was meant to be to be a, an inference mechanism for proof, for the proof of a fire. Here you see the technological achievement 30 years after the, its beginning. On, le, on the left, you see an application uh, running on the web. Um, you see an online worksheet containing the definitions and, and the approved theorem. Uh, by pressing the button go, you, you launch the proof verifier who uh, will either report errors or uh, will accept the proof if the proof is correct. Uh, on the, on the right, you see more or less the same scenario, the same proof uh, in pretty printed form. And uh, you see from this, uh, from what you see on the right, that the set theory I'm talking about is not, uh, is not um, a, a constructive set theory. It's not, um, it, it's not intuition, intuitionistic or constructive set theory. It's uh, really uh, the Mel Frankel set theory actually enhanced with a strong, um, with a global choice axiom. In fact, uh, this theorem, which you see here, is the proof of the Zermelo principle of the of the Zermelo formulation of the axiom of choice. And as you can see in this uh, in this proof, there is a, a, a global a global um, choice um, operator called ARB, which has the same name um, of a basic common. construct of the set of language. Uh, what, what did you say? I'm... Okay. Never... Um, is everything okay? I just ignore that. I don't know what that is. Okay. I heard the voice. I don't know. Okay. What, what you see on the top is another um, significant difference between Etna Nova, the proof verifier, and Settle. Um, because as you see here, I, I, one defines a finite set. A set is finite if every family of subsets of F, which is non-empty, has uh, an inclusion minimal element M. So this is the definition of finiteness, and this clearly indicates that the set theory we are talking about is a theory which hosts uh, uh, infinite sets, such as, for instance, the set of natural numbers. Um, let's look at the one another very small, in a, a tiny proof scenario. Here you see two definitions in pretty printed format and a theorem a pedicard's lemma, and its proof. As you can see, the proof consists of steps. Each step has a hint and, uh, and a statement. In uh, the first two cases, the statement is omitted. It's uh, auto seems, uh, means uh, take whatever comes automatically. Suppose not. Uh, means uh, create the negation of the statement of, of, of the claim of the of the of the of the theorem so um, simply auto means the negation of the implication that is uh, that must be proved in other cases you see the statement written uh, explicitly and uh, the red part red part of the of the line indicates what is the uh, the inference rule by which this step is uh, can be obtained. Um, ideally, Jack would have liked the, the red part, the proofs to disappear, but this would call for uh, a much uh, more intelligent uh, proof checker than the one we have. One which uh, tries many, many, makes attempts with the several inference rules to reach automatically the, the the proposed step, step of the proof. Anyhow, the, the proof was not supposed to be entirely automatically generated. Um, the assistant I'm talking about is not the proof generator, but it is a, a proof assistant. 
and the man is in charge, the mathematician is, or the, uh, the computer scientist is in charge of developing the proof. When one submits a scenario, which means, uh, by scenario I mean a proof script uh, to Etna Nova, uh, one gets um, is a, a, the result in this form. It's a, it's a sheet in which you find the mistakes which are in, the, in your proof. And uh, you also find the indication of how much time has been spent in uh, in checking the correctness of uh, of um, of the steps of a of a of, of a of a theorem. So here, two theorems have been proved. One was correct, and um, uh, it, its proof uh, verification took uh, twenty micro twenty milliseconds, and um, in the other case, uh, there was a mistake in the proof, and um, the time is not reported because it was negligible. At the Nova, uh, answer is a proof checker, not a proof discoverer. It is rooted in a, in a set theory, actually in Zermelo Frankel's set theory, who, um, enhanced by a global axiom, a global choice axiom. So it goes a bit a bit uh, um, further with respect to Zermelo Frankel. It's not based on a calculus in the sense that um, it's um, it's um, uh, the, the the inference rules that are embodied in the proof checker are designed specifically for set theory, save for a few, except for a few which uh, rely directly on the, on predicate calculus, most uh, rules have been designed explicitly for set theory. Um, I bet that in some cases, uh, the inference rules have been uh, um, exported from the, uh, from the set optimizer to set, for instance, the rules for unraveling the set formers uh, seem to originate uh, from, uh, from the programming language. Um, so in set theory, uh, is uh, not in the, uh, has no hindrance with types. Uh, Michel Sharir mentioned that uh, in uh, SETO there is a policy of laissez faire about types. And this is also true about Etna Nova. And this is a, a distinctive points, a point that makes Etna Nova different from many other set provers, uh, which are also rooted in, in, uh, in set theory. One feeds uh, uh, Etnanova with uh, proof scripts, which are possibly large scale. Uh, when I say large scale, I mean the fact that uh, um, the, the largest one which has been developed is about, which has been largely been implemented by Jack himself, uh, is about 10,000 lines long. And uh, it's not supposed, supposed to be highly interactive. But uh, initially, Jack thought, thought of a much more interactive proof checker. But then, then he ended uh, with uh, a solution which was a sort of compromise. You submit uh, scripts, you get reports, uh, you fix your mistakes, and you submit your script. The inference rules are coarse-grained. And uh, um, res resolution is not implemented at all inside the inside the Tenanova. It is uh, statement oriented, as I've said before, hints though present are sort of compromised compromise with the current state of technology. Ideally, they should become uh, unnecessary, ideally. In formalizing chapters of analysis, you know, why set theory is the underlying formalism? In formalizing chapters of analysis, it is convenient to follow the royal, royal road paved by the work of Cauchy, Dedekind, and many more, including von Neumann. And um, in fact, uh, in fact, uh, one of the inspirations sources for the for Jack's uh, work was a book, the book of Landau on the foundations of analysis. Um, the armory of elementary inference rules can today include the decision algorithms, named the syllogistics. I mentioned multi-level syllogistic, the first uh, which has been designed in 1979 from fragments of set theory. 
which has been implemented in Seattle in 1979, even before the, its correctness was formally proved. And uh, to a significant extent, the language of set theory can be exploited to specify algorithms. This is one of, of the main motivation for, uh, for developing a, a proof checker alongside with, uh, with uh, an executable uh, algorithm spe specification language. And actually, there is uh, one paper written by uh, Alexandru Tomescu and myself in 2008, which reports on how we could prove uh, the correctness of the Davis Patnam satisfiability test uh, using Etna Nova. But what, the, what is interesting is that the same, um, in the same paper in which we prove this, uh, the correctness of, of, uh, of, of, of a classical algorithm, we also uh, can prove things like the uh, compactness of propositional logic. And this, this calls for uh, the zones uh, uh, lemma. Uh, so it is completely, it requires uh, completely uh, different methods, but it is uh, both things, uh, both achievements can be carried out in the same language. Uh, there are several proof assistants for set theory. Just to cite a few, one is Mizar with its mathematical library MLL, MML based on the task Gert and Dick set theory. Another one is a Skunak. Another one is, uh, is an extension of, um, of uh, Argonnes or uh, Otter uh, due to Belinfante. Um, but uh, I think. Uh, and Etna Nova really differs from, uh, from, uh, from all of these. And one main difference is the fact that um, uh, types, which are sometimes uh, uh, regarded as a sort of a, a second foundation for, uh, for, uh, for my reasoning, types are um, underplayed. There is a sort of um, un behind the scenes automatic determination of types, but this is uh, just uh, a, a, a marginal character, characteristic of Etna Nova. Three basic constituents of a scenario are, how much time do I have still? Okay. Three basic constituents of a scenario are definitions. For instance, you see def the definition of a TOG. A TOG, is a, a set of pairs, which, which is a single valued. In, in other terms, it represents a function, which is a self-inverse and which is entire di diagonal. Then we can prove that every finite set, every infinite set, sorry, has a, a tog whose domain is, uh, is S. And so this is uh, the second constituent of a scenario. The third constituent, is uh, the proof consisting of steps, which, as I've said, are uh, formed by hint and statement. And there is a, four, a fourth, uh, ah, let me add the one thing. Definitions can be recursive. So definitions are not necessarily abbreviations. Next, for instance, is an abbreviation. Jack called this kind of abbreviation an algebraic uh, definition. But one can also define things uh, recursively, because sets, because membership is a well-founded relationship of sets, and so one can define, for instance, the rank of a set as the union set of next of the rank of y with y arranging over y. So this is uh, something uh, which uh, benefits from uh, from Neumann's uh, um, well-foundedness axiom, the last axiom which has been added to to Zermelo Frankel. There is an important uh, construct for proof reuse, um, which uh, inherits uh, from, uh, from the language uh, um, uh, by Burstall and, and um, who, who are the names? Burstall and, and uh, Gogwen. Burstall and Gogwen uh, proposed uh, theories to, pu to put together specifications. I don't know if there is a, there has been direct influence, but for sure they resemble very much each, each other. Uh, here is a theory within a scenario. 
the discourse can momentarily digress into a theory that enforces a certain local assumptions. For instance, uh, in this theory called the globalized map, there is uh, a constant which is supposed to sub satisfy this condition. Then uh, you digress into the theory, you prove theories, uh, theorems inside the theory, and you exit with the theory which has, uh, which has uh, changed, which con contains theorems, which contains new constants, for instance, to this tog uh, theta, and uh, which can be used to shorten proofs. For instance, we can use uh, this uh, theory to prove that there exists uh, a, in a global function called the flip. Global means that it is defined or over the universe of all sets. If, if you applic apply flip once, uh, you get something different from X. If we apply it twice, you get again X. And uh, this is an application of a, the of a, of a theory which has been uh, developed once to be reused many times. We have many proof pairs, that is uh, to say, proofs which have been in entirely developed, uh, which have been entirely developed in uh, Seto, no, in uh, Etnanov, I'm sorry. Um, all these links are good links. I, I've had these pages reinstalled by a te technician of my department uh, in, in the last few days. And uh, so you can enter here and have an idea of what you can do. Here you see, for, uh, for instance, uh, a scenario in, in, um, in keyboard form, format, in pretty printed format. You can launch it and, uh, and so on and so forth. But launching it today is impossible because, uh, because uh, Etna Nova is experiencing in these days uh, some difficulty just because it had been dis disinstalled and they have to install it again. Etna Nova is implemented in Seto. They have the same parser with associated services. In particular, they share the syntax of intentional set formers. Um, set formers are a, an extremely perspicuous uh, construct, very useful in programming as well as in uh, specifying uh, uh, proofs, uh, definitions and proofs. proofs. Settle only spans finite sets. Moreover, it views atoms, numbers, and Boolean values as uh, individuals, let's say, as atomic entities. Etnanova handles uh, pure sets, that is to say, sets uh, in whose construction uh, no individual enter. Um, they are uh, constructed by means of repeated nesting out of the empty set, and you can do everything uh, in this manner. Sets can be nested at will, membership is well-founded, and both systems settle as, as well as Etna Nova under play types. Settle is meant to manipulate algorithmically set values or maps or um, sequences, Etna Nova supports formal reasoning about sets, sequences, and, uh, and the like. In order to avoid the Etna Nova to fade away, a re-implementation of it uh, seems advisable. I think uh, of Python because Python also handles a set, and uh, it's in a sense uh, a successor of Settle, or Byte Settle uh, is based on value semantics. A tighter, integration, a tighter integration between the executable algorithm specification language and the logical language between um, et, uh, Settle and Etna Nova must be pursued. This is an old example. It goes back to the year 1980, I guess. It's an example of, a, of an annotated program which, which calculates the closure of a set S0 with respect to, with respect to a to a binary relation F. And uh, ideally, Etna Nova should be able to digest this uh, specification, should generate four statements, and should then invite the, you, its user to formally prove each of the four formulas. Um, momentarily, the two languages uh, uh, do not serve each other 
as uh, mutual each other as, as, would it, as it would be desirable. Thank you for your attention. And, and thank you very much. Um,